summer vibes. <laughs> it's way too hot to wear in the summer, but we're gonna wear it inside and pretend like it's fine. Also, I just posted the first video with like episodes one and two yesterday, and I feel like I'm not gonna check the comments. It's not because I don't love you guys, I do, but I'm afraid of seeing spoilers because I still have four episodes left and I don't, I don't wanna get spoiled. I saw someone saying that they thought the season was a flop and I just, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. I don't, I don't wanna know what happens. I want to experience it for myself first, you know what I mean? Anyways, we are doing episode five today, hopefully also episode six, but definitely episode five, Lucas and Diego. Oh, hi Benji. Finally, we get artist Benji again. Sounds great. I agree. Well, that means from a legal perspective, you didn't get drunk and drive my car into a Wendy's. Uh, I didn't know you could just make it go away like that. I didn't know you could do that either. That seems a little suspicious, but I'm not going to comment on it because I, I didn't even know it existed until a second ago. It took a year and a half and cost an arm and a leg, but you know, top colleges don't like kids with felonies on the record, so it is what it is. You paid money to just erase it? No, that's not what it... Damn. <laughs> I'm like, well, just erase your flaws. It's fine. The dynamic is like uncomfortable. I don't know if I'm like in the right headspace to be watching this episode right now. Now we never have to think about that embarrassing day ever again, right? Except for the fact that he probably has PTSD from it, but it's fine. He'll be thinking about it forever. Obviously there were pictures from your laptop on there. What pictures? Oh no. Pictures of shirtless men, pictures of pantless men, pictures of, I mean, name an article of clothing. There was a picture of a man not wearing that. It's for a fan edit. I lent my laptop to Lucy, and she is just completely boy crazy. <laughs> oh, thank God. No! Not him saying thank God, too. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with being gay. I just never thought my son would be, you know? Because I'm not. Hello, darlings. What are my two favorite guys up here? <laughs> uh, they're killing the audience is what they're doing. And not they, as in both of them. It's it's the dad killing the audience. Morgan, oh my god. I'm so sorry, Benji. You're gonna die. The funniest thing just happened. Oh, good. I need a good story. Oh, god. Not him sitting there like, well, cool. Glad to see I'm not accepted. That was fast thinking on his part, though. I am not gonna lie. He, he came up with that excuse very quickly. Oh, no. How did you even get that? Literally just drinking to survive and then sitting on the bed being like, yeah, well, actually my life isn't just some embarrassing blunder you can pay money to erase. It is my life and it's gonna be forever a part of me. I need to move out. And he can't, he doesn't have the means to get out of there just yet because he's literally a minor. So he's like trying to mentally get out of there and that is brutal. <laughs> this episode's gonna be rough to watch if we're diving into Benji, which I'm glad we're diving into Benji because it's season three, we should have done this in season one. But I feel like his home environment is just going to be like so rough to watch. I'm sorry, Benji. I'll apologize on behalf of your parents. How's tutoring Benji going? There it is. <laughs> I love Andrew. <laughs> he just popped out. I'm sitting right here. Am I supposed to not eavesdrop? Oh no, I mean, dude, you're doing better. You joined the conversation. That's like amazing. More than I would have done. I would have just sat there and like totally ignored what I was reading and just listened. Let's go. It's oh. just weird that now you guys are friends and he- Wait, just... Andrew wants the details. How bad is it to talk to a person that cares about you more than anything? Stop obsessing over Benji or I'm going to stuff my head in that coffee grinder and crank it to 10. Okay, that's a little extreme. <laughs> I feel like it is completely fair for Victor to be concerned about someone that he loved going through a stressful situation and thinking at the same time that he is the source of some of the pain. So he's like, well, I don't want to, you know, cause more pain. Like I want to help him. And so like, that's almost proof that he does still care for him deeply because he doesn't want to risk putting him in pain. You want my advice? I no. do, Andrew. The best way to get over someone is to get under somebody else. Okay. Actually, I take that back. I don't want your advice anymore, Andrew. How about we find a hobby? Diego, you're strong, dangerous, wild in bed. Andrew. You're really good at this. Thank you. I feel like my ranking of favorite characters constantly like shifts, but Andrew has been consistently just moving up and up and up every episode, every season. You go home. Well, well, just... You are not welcome here anymore. Oh, frick. That was his safe space. We found these in your room. Oh, I forgot that was a thing that happened. How stupid do you think we are? If you just calm down and listen to me. No, I am done listening to you. Uh, How many times do you think you can lie to my face? You stood there and you told us no more secrets and then we find these in your room. Give him your phone, Pilar. You guys are being so crazy. Go to your room. They didn't even give her a chance to really explain. For all we know, she could be passing out every time she gets her period. Mom and dad found birth control in my room. What? Are you confused? No, I just Why does everyone assume that? If we did, 
but mom and dad don't believe me and dad went batshit and took my phone so i really need that walkie-talkie to talk to felix the poor thing she was literally like doing the responsible thing being prepared press the button on the side if you want to okay. talk i'll figure it out victor it's a toy for a seven year old it's <laughs> Toy for a seven year old. Also, that was sibling solidarity right there. <laughs> Wanna meet at Kooky Judy's for drag queen bingo? Actually, that sounds fun. I am more here for like him getting out, seeing the town, having some hobbies, meeting some people than I am like the dating aspect. Victor? Benji! Benji? Wait, did you guys meet each other on this dating app? Y'all are gonna be standing outside all day. Yeah. Waiting to meet someone and it's each other. Y'all are meeting each other. I know it. I know it in my heart. My heart of hearts. Lucas? Diego. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love them. Even when they didn't even know each other, they were coming together. Okay, sorry. <sighs> we're chill. We're chill. I, I just really needed a distraction tonight. Why don't you guys pretend to be oh. your covers and just have the distraction? We're not really supposed to be hanging out. <sighs> well, I mean, Victor and Benji aren't supposed to be hanging out. Thank you, Benji. Thank you. Glad we're on the same page. Why Lucas and Diego can. Thank you. Code names. Stealthy. Spy vibes. Come on, Diego. I fucking love them. That's me. I can't. My parents found birth control in my room. Hey, why do you have birth control if we're not even... Why is everyone just assuming? Maybe it's just because I know too many people in my life who truly would pass out if they didn't have it. They think I'm lying. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> what? Whose side are you on? Hey, I'm on, I'm on no one's side. <laughs> the answer is her side, not no one's side. He may never cool off. He's a deeply uncool human being. Okay, look, they took me in when I had nowhere else to go. Oh, yeah, that's true. They're like a second family to me. I, I, can't, I can't mess yeah. this up. He literally just has him and his mom and then he had a whole family, and then the family literally shut the door in his face, so I can see where he's coming from. God. Over. All right, honey, welcome. Not the music over to say over. God, that's brutal. Are you but sure you're, you're okay with all this, with, with everyone drinking? You mean, can I go to a restaurant? Victor's trying so hard to be chill about it, but it's not working. I'm sorry, I, I just don't know what your triggers are. Besides me. <laughs> Benji at the beginning, please. I just want to pretend to be Lucas. Like, I just don't want to exist and think about my problems. Because this is actually keeping me from picking up a bottle. Victor, actually, can we talk about your problems, please? I feel like I'm being really awkward. You're Diego. Well, let's just talk about things like Diego things. Okay. He was my first boyfriend and my first love. My Still first. love. You know. Bingo! Oh! You look like one of those teenage movie vampires. <laughs> all pale and horny. <laughs> Here's a prize. His brand. Oh. I'm actually sober. Well, good for you. <laughs> Even better for me. Oh. Dang. You don't realize. Wait, there's no backup prize? There should be a backup prize, like a sticker or something. That's really sad. Look, his whole face was dejected turning around from that. They should have a backup prize. Can we get out of here? Yes. I, yeah. God, that's so sad. Oh no, we're not seeing that night. Oh no, we're seeing that. Please don't tell me we're seeing that night. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs> Oh my god, please tell me we skipped the whole Wendy's. There's something you should know about me. Oh, Are you okay? No, he's not okay. It's like, barely said a word since we left, bingo. This is happening the same night as the dad was like, you're an embarrassment and we have to erase what you've done. I just realized that. And he turned to a fun activity instead of the bottle and he still ended up having it shoved in his face there with the prize. God. Finally got my car accident taken off my record. I still don't know how you do that Which legally, I guess but I need to stop questioning that. A good thing? I didn't mean to make it heavy. No, that's okay. He asked. He asked. I learned that I have a lot of anxiety, and drinking is how I cope. You have anxiety? You're Benji. Nothing ever gets you. <laughs> Those are the people you gotta watch out for the most, man. What makes you anxious? It's more like what doesn't. <laughs> His parents, he's failing calculus. No matter what I do, I'm gonna end up Disappointing someone. His parents were a perfectly good kid. God, You've you wouldn't disappoint never Victor. Never disappointed. Yeah, there you go. Not, not once. You're just saying that. He can't even trust it. He can't even trust it. Maybe us hanging out together could be good for you. 
Even just as friends. As, as friends, or as more than friends. Like, he's the first person you seem to have been able to open up to about everything. I don't know, Victor. I feel like you're, like, one of the few people he has in his life to actually offer him a shoulder to cry on, and just, like, a place where he can feel safe to vent and talk about what he's going through. Uh, I don't know if you're a trigger, man. Are you sure? I'm, I'm one of the things that you have I think to... his parents are his trigger. I'm just listening to the experts and my parents. Uh, I don't know if we put your parents on the expert level there. I think your parents are the stressor. But, like, what the hell are you supposed to do when you're a minor? I don't know. Maybe it's just me and my Instagram feed, but I keep seeing things that are like, you can't heal in the environment that's hurting you. And, I mean, I don't know how accurate that is. I'm obviously not a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> don't take advice from me. But I feel like it really applies to Benji's situation here because he is still very clearly in an environment that's hurting him like that. I do think his parents are his number one stress. It's making it harder to heal, even though he's trying. And that's, it's brutal to watch. We are a lot of things, and I'm not sure simple is one of them. Y'all could be simple. Yeah, okay, I, I get it. But Victor's here if you ever need him. Y'all are- Night, Victor. Killing me. Y'all are killing me. If we're gonna be punished for it. Might as well do it. Do what? <laughs> Maybe I can make you a little more sure. Pilar, I feel like his window's open. I feel you pulling away and one minute we're taking a step back, the next minute we'll be breaking up. Well then that is not the right time to be having sex. This is kind of insane to me because I feel like in season one, she was like gonna send the sexy photo to like keep them from breaking up. And I feel like that's her first reaction here too, is to do almost the same thing. Oh God, you don't have to do that, Pilar. You don't, you don't. <sighs> Felix doesn't want to lose his family. She doesn't want to lose Felix. This episode is killing me. Benji doesn't want to lose himself. I don't understand where we went wrong. We didn't go wrong. Lots of people are gay and oh, wonderful. Uh, he's got a drinking problem. He's not the son I pictured. Well, then you need to love the one that you have, sir. Oh my god. Also, it would have been one thing too had it been like, where did we go wrong? How did we allow our minor son to have access to alcohol? But it's him being like, oh, he didn't turn into the image that I had in my head of what I wanted. Love him for who he is, not the image of what you want him to be and like how you imagined him to be. Like, God. Mr. Campbell? Now what the hell? Hey, what's, what's going on? My son almost died in a drunk driving accident. And just a few months ago, he was driving drunk again with you. The problems in your relationship caused him to relapse. I have one question for you, Mr. Sir. Um, how is your minor getting alcohol? Have you considered putting your supply behind a locked cabinet or something? Because that's the question that I personally have. What are your actions. What have you been doing to help this situation other than apparently paying a lot of money and a lot of time to erase his legal record? Which again still seems a little suspicious but I'm not commenting on that because I've done absolutely no research but it does sound suspicious. Months of fighting and then he then he sees you dancing with another boy at the wedding and he he drives straight home to raid my liquor cabinet. That apparently doesn't have a lock on it. You answered my own question. You answered my question. I should have just let him talk. You answered my question, sir. So you don't lock your liquor cabinet. Okay, interesting. You create chaos. Okay, we got Wanda Maximoff over here. If you really cared about Benji, you'd stay away. I hate that. Benji and Victor literally talked about that seconds ago. He doesn't need you to come in and basically Berate him. She's stress eating Swedish fish. This is too relatable. I know you're his best friend, so you'll probably take the side. You're my sister. I'll always have your back, no matter what. Oh, God. What's up with you? Uh, I just got yelled at by someone's dad. I realize I'm bad for Benji. Fuck, he believes it too. I don't think it's you. And I'll probably never be with him. Fuck. I'm just frustrated because. Where we go? I love how that episode is ending with a family relationship, but like, I don't know, Victor. I know the dad just basically was like, you're the stressor, you're an agent of chaos. But I feel like it's the parents. Just, I guess Victor, the thing is, Victor didn't see any of the flashbacks that we just saw. So Victor's like, oh yeah, I guess I was bad for him. But we just saw the whole backstory. I think the main stressor is the dad constantly saying he's embarrassed of Benji. He doesn't understand how he got such a fuck up of a kid, which he didn't 
word it like that, but that's the vibe he was putting out there. Also him being like, you're the reason he steals alcohol from my cabinet. And it's like, lock your cabinet. Am I the only one thinking that? And it's not even like he has a bad kid. He's literally reached out for extra tutoring for calculus. He's choosing to connect with people instead of just drinking alone in his room. He's out there like trying to do good for himself. And he is in an environment that is basically keeping him from healing and moving forward with his life because he is still in the environment with all the stress. Anyways, episode five was a little bit much, a little bit much. I am gonna go eat dinner and hopefully come back later and do episode six. That was brutal. That was brutal. All right, guys, it is technically a different day, but I'm here right now. I'm ready to watch episode six. Make yourself bigger. How? I am naturally dainty. <laughs> I'm naturally dainty. We're bad boys now, Victor. Should we start a club? Bad boy Daddy club. Daddy don't like me squad. If they do not sell merch with that, someone's gonna start making it themselves, honestly. I would unironically wear that on a shirt. You, my friend, are a ray of light. Thanks, man. Felix, but that's you too. I don't know. I'm starting to think maybe he's right. Dude, you were the only one, the only one to ask Benji how he was doing. Yeah, when you lay it out like that, you do sound a teensy bit like an agent of chaos. Yeah, I know. Do you guys mind keeping the personal banter down? Who what? the hell are you? It hasn't even started yet, Liam. Thank you, Felix. God. It's like he wants people to hate him. It worked. I do. Don't watch this in a bad mood. Protein synthesis. <laughs> you think this is my dream morning? I want it to be a dancer. Yeah, see, Liam, this is what happens when you don't have friends. <laughs> you don't want to be with the group partner. I mean, I, I know he's a little horrible. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty bad when Felix doesn't like somebody. You know, I'm going to ask the guidance counselor if working with you two dummies counts as community service. Were you just gonna do the whole three-person project by yourself sitting in that corner? Because no one else was claiming you, buddy. No one else. There's no way the writers wrote him in that scene to be likable. There's no way. Wanna do a study sesh tonight? We can make some flashcards. Yes, Please. cute. Okay. Wait, I thought I thought she wasn't due for another three weeks. Mm-mm. I've never gotten less than an A on anything, and I don't intend to start now. I need to become valedictorian so that I can go to Harvard, and then, you know, obviously. Liam, you're in the wrong show. The politician casting was like over there a few days ago. You missed it. What are you doing? He looks like a vampire who would straight up murder you. No remorse. He's sucking the life out of them as it is, so close enough. Yeah, isn't that the sound you're gay dating at me? Liam is in the closet. That explains why he's so uptight and pushes everyone away. Oh, he's not a dick. He just wants dick. Mm. You probably just need someone to talk to, and I could be that someone. Being gay and in the closet does not give you an excuse to be rude to people, though. I could be Simon. Yeah, that worked out real well with Raheem. What happened to that guy? Yeah, yeah, Felix, that's the question. Not the cutting scenes. That was a real question Felix had. Yeah, the answer is Victor broke up with him. They had a friend breakup, and I'm still feeling the fallout. Obviously, I know, but if I told you, that would be cheating, so look at it. Hey, guys. <laughs> Hi. Team, I'm sorry, can we talk about this lighting? I look like I'm in a noir film, a hard broiled noir film. Gonna solve the case. Uh, yeah, the murderer was Liam. I thought she needed a friend. What she needs is to learn not to lie to us. Now you call her right now and tell her to come home. She wasn't even I lying. Okay. I don't care what you think. I'll call her myself if you won't do it. Fine. <laughs> this kid was like, oh, my dad just straight up said he doesn't care what my mom thinks. <laughs> Okay, they will be filing for divorce. I'm with Raheem. Mom said I could. I don't care what she said. I want you in your room in 15 minutes. Goodbye. <laughs> Whoa. She's <laughs> like, that's mom's problem. I lent it to Raheem since it's so cold in here. And you wanted to wear this. Well, he's cold. Oh. Because it's cold. Pilar is Raheem's girlfriend and they said everything, <laughs> even jackets. This is so awkward. Raheem Pilar is wonderful. I invited her to my farewell dinner tonight. Please do not let Armando break in to their whole dinner. Please don't let that be where the writing is going. I can't trust that it's not. Come in, you must be Victor's friends. Friend is a bit much. Let's go with colleague. Okay. Victor, your colleague is here. <laughs> she said, I'll respect it, fine. We have totally lost control here. Hmm. I would weigh in here, but since you don't care what I think. I am so grateful that that's coming back. Don't let I'm that sorry die. I said that. Of course I care what you think. You said it twice, actually, because you also said it on the phone to Pilar. As in every decent college is going to repudiate us if we don't learn what these frickin' words mean. I need a break. 
Mm. Shall we do the prediction? Lucy does not want to go to college, but she's doing SAT prep for Lake. I guarantee that's what it is. Uh, oh, oh my God. Oh. This is a designer sweater. You spilled on me, so I guess now we're spill buddies. Oh wait, that's cute. That waiter was hitting on you. Yeah, what? yeah. No, he wasn't. I got that vibe at the party. It's that guy. Oh my God, you're right. I spilled on him, he spilled on me. That was my meet cue. I just missed my meet cue. No, you didn't. You run for it. <laughs> wait, I actually really shipped that. Hey, you know I'm gay, right? Yeah, yeah, you stood up on a chair and announced it to the whole school. Maybe like for class. <laughs> uh, let me be here for you. After you, oh no, 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 no! That was not. Oh, that, that was not the. I thought. Um, I mean, you really made it seem no. like you wanted that. He did not make it seem. Although he was touching his shoulder, that's not what happened. Oh my god! <laughs> what? I didn't ask for your help. Which is fair. But why would why you? Why couldn't you just left me alone? I don't know what he thought was gonna happen. Either of them. That was very, like, very fast. Weird night. One of those fake date your bestie to convince your homophobic uncle that you're straight scenarios. Is your fake girlfriend for hire? Will she come to my grandma's for Easter? <laughs> <laughs> She's not for hire. Um, I may have missed our meet cute. Ah, no shit. Nice of you to finally notice. <laughs> I love them. Maybe I can get your number? I love them. Before I have to go back to the old ball and chain. That was like effective communication too. He straight up came in there and said, yeah. Actually, I'm dealing with a lot right now. I'm Connor, by the way. Hi, Connor. Holy hey. shit, I love them. That was a top tier meet cute. A top tier meet cute. I knitted it for the baby. Mm. You're gonna give the baby nightmares. Hey, listen, I would have called you earlier, but this one had me running around looking for ice chips. This one <laughs> is about to deliver your baby. I know, I know. Can we move the view? <laughs> Seems like a little bit up close. And used my undeniable charm to convince a lovely nurse named Diane to bring in an iPad. He Venmoed her a hundred bucks. Yeah, that's charming in its own way. <laughs> it is charming. Andrew is honestly amazing. Hi. <laughs> Rick, her face is so happy to be there. This is nice having you here with me tonight. Yeah, it is nice. Y'all, why are we talking? So... Why are you here? This is something we say in the car. You're gonna get like a grown-up Liam yelling at you for talking about your stuff. Every teenager is a clueless wrecking ball. Yeah. And the fact that you're asking yourself these questions. You're trying. You're a good man, Michal. Nick. Oh, okay. Hey, um, what are you doing here? I just finished up youth group. Oh, I have to go talk to Jesus about <laughs> something, so I'll see you in the car. I'm sorry, that was kind of iconic. Bye, I have to talk to Jesus now. <laughs> I love her. It only took one slip up for your mom to get pregnant. She was only one year older than you. Oh, Wait, man. What? We even picked out a name for her. Camila. Oh, my God. And at four months, we lost the baby. Why didn't you tell me this earlier? Oh, my God. I think it's part of the reason why I'm having so much trouble with the idea of you and Felix Please having... Please don't say it again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm glad he's opening up. That's heartbreaking. I guess sometimes I wish you would just stay my baby girl. <laughs> Wait, first of all... Every episode, every episode, I'm crying. The fact that she was able to just immediately pinpoint it to that, like, she knows their relationship so well. I mean, Isabel, not obviously Pilar. Like, that's always on the back of her mind, too. And her being like, I actually know what you're thinking of says so much about their relationship. Consider your relationship unforbidden. Oh, God. And then she's sitting there like, do I want to be with him now? Because he doesn't really want to be with me. I don't think I'm gonna go to college. Oh. You're not? I got that vibe immediately. And I have a cousin who lives in Portland who says I can stay with her until I figure things out. Oh figure my gosh. Out. Like the job. The first night we hung out, I said I was saving up to get out of Creekwood as soon as possible. Oh yeah. I felt stuck here. Oh my god. Did like not even <laughs> She was like, all high schoolers say that. I didn't want to ruin it. Yeah. Oh my god, wait, no, I love you guys. Y'all can't break up. I'm rooting for you. For the first time in my life, I was proud. And then you made me hide again. God. Never again. That waiter you were talking to was very handsome. <laughs> I'm, I'm not doing this with you right now. I told you your boy would come. It is written. I love this mom. <laughs> Can 
she and Isabel get together because I feel like they would have an amazing mom lunch, honestly. Finally get back to being normal. Uh, does she... I could have never dropped you like that. I'm sorry, Felix. Dang. This is over. I feel like that's fair, though. Pilar. Because Pilar has always been, you know, a very go get him, stand against the man type of character, and I feel like she definitely deserves someone who also puts that same energy forward in their relationship. And Felix, I mean, I don't know if he's gonna be at that level in terms of, like, their family, because they took him in when he truly had nothing. Like, of course he doesn't want to lose them. Liam, it's uh, me, Victor. I, I just wanted to call and say I'm sorry. And I'm around if you ever want to talk. We dropped Simon and we dropped the DMs. Now he's like, I'm going to call you and talk about everything. Either way, I'll also vote for you for president one day. <laughs> <laughs> that was a cute way to end that call, though. What are you doing here? Are y'all going on a date? Date? Are those for me? Yeah. That's so cute. Would you like to go out to dinner sometime? I'm in. Oh my god. His face, he was so happy, so excited at the concept of connection with him. And I mean, how could you say no? He came with flowers. He came with flowers. That's cute. I'm one over. I also am a romantic at heart, Victor. I understand. Anyways, thankfully that was not as painful as the last episode because I don't know if I could do another episode five. Episode five, like, ugh, killed me killed me. I cannot believe there are only two more episodes left in Love, Victor. What the heck? I wish they had another season coming out. And I'm a little nervous too because the tension between Lake and Lucy, like y'all better not split up. Y'all better not split up, okay? I'm rooting for them. I am rooting for them. They're my favorite ship right now, except for also Raheem. Did he say his name was Connor? I hope he said it was Connor. Raheem and Connor, top notch. I feel like those two ships, I'm rooting for them. I'm rooting. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you want more movie and fandom related content and I will see you guys for the next one. Thanks for watching. See ya.